Okay, hope you're well. Today's lesson is going to be on page 19 in the String Basics book. So get yourself all tuned up, get your book ready. You need your bow, get that ready too. We're going to switch over now to some smart music. One second. And here we are. You should be able to see the exercise on page 19. Um, what we're doing here is we're going to be doing all of our D string notes that we know so far, and we're going to be playing them with the bow. Okay, last class we were plucking through these songs, but now we're going to use our bow. So I'm looking at number 88, and I'm looking at the A line, and I'm noticing that all of these notes here in the A line do not have any stems on them, and that's because they're whole notes. And if you remember our whole notes, um, when we did them, I think on page 7, our whole notes are four beats long each. So we're going to go really slow with our bow and we're going to make sure we count for four beats each of these notes. Let's take a walk through and read through them. So we're going to start with D, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. Here's our newest note, G, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. F two, three, four, E, two, three, four, and D, two, three, four. Then it repeats, so we'll do it twice. All right, so the newest note is G. Do you remember how many fingers you need for that note? If you're a violin player or a viola player, you're going to put three fingers on the D string on the three tapes, red, yellow, and green. Hopefully those are your colors. If you are a cello player, you're going to put four fingers on the D string, right? So this finger is on E, then F is the third finger, which is the yellow tape, and then G is the green tape. The pinky finger goes on that one. Okay, so just be sure you have the correct fingers for the right notes. Remember, we are adding and subtracting fingers as we play. We don't slide them around. Just keep adding fingers until you have all the ones that you need. Okay, I'm going to get ready to play. So I'm going to look at my bow hold, get a nice bow hold. Do you remember all those steps we did at the beginning of the year with the bow hold? We made that little, hold a can of water or a can of soda or a bottle of water, and then you put your thumb on, drop your fingers. Pinky's up for violins, violas. Pinky's down for cello. Okay, so we got the nice bow holds set. And then get the instrument in place. I'm going to put my, put my bow on the D string. My hand is back ready to play other fingers on the strings. And I think I'm ready, let's go. to get warmed up with because you can move your bow slowly move the finger slowly we're going to move on to number 89 and number 89 um, was on that paper for the concert songs I wanted to do for a concert this year I don't think that's going to be happening but you could still learn to play the song and play it for your family so it's not worth not doing all right phylum cabbage down another fiddle tune so let's read through our notes here we're going to start with F this time. I hope you caught that. F, 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 G, two, G, four. F, 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 E, two, E, four. F, 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 G, two, G, four. F, F, E, E, D, two, D, rest, repeat. Okay, so. The good news is that the notes kind of are one note away most of the time. The only time you have to do any sort of skipping of notes is when you go D, D, rest, repeat, and you start again on an F. So during that rest, 
you get your eyes back to the beginning, you get the fingers on the string for F, which is two fingers violins, two fingers violas, three fingers for the cellos. All right, that might be a little tricky. Other than that, um, the bow has a pretty steady pattern throughout the whole thing. Short, 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 long, long. Okay, so let's get ready to play. Get our bow hold set. There, I think mine looks good. Instrument in place. You're gonna have to start this song with F. So you put two fingers on the D string. Get those fingers ready and let's start. on smart music at 96 beats a minute you might want to adjust that down if you're just beginning this song make it slower practice it slower until your fingers can do it and then you'll be able to do it better in order to learn something fast you must start slow your fingers will learn it fast if you start it slow i'm going to skip number 90 we're going to move on to number 91 okay the old gray goose and let's do a note read on this. We're going to start with F. Two. F, E, D, two, D, four, E, two, E, E, F, E, D, four. F, two. F, E, D, two, D, D, E, D, E, F, D, two, rest, rest, repeat. Okay, so I saw Fs, I saw Es, and I saw Ds in that song. Um, I didn't see any Gs. And I'm looking at, again, there are no Gs in the song. So you're just gonna have to deal with up to that F note, which is this one for cello, this one for the violins and the violas. All right, no Gs to deal with. Let's see if there are any times where we skip with our fingers. Looking through, looking through, D, F. Ooh, there's one. Okay, so you're going to have to quickly put two fingers down. Remember, or three fingers if you play cello, the finger that lands on that tape is the important one. So if you're going from D to F and you go, wait, that may take too long. Instead, what you want to do is you want to go for that finger, add that finger later, or go for this finger, add these fingers later. Get the finger that needs to be on that tape there. Don't worry about the others. You can add them later. Okay, let's look for any more skips. F, D. Okay, that's not so bad because taking away fingers is usually easier than adding them. But when you do the D and you're doing the repeat, you're gonna start again on an F. So again, you're gonna put those fingers down, not as quickly as the first time, but still kind of quick. Okay, we're gonna get our bow hold set. Wait a minute. There, that looks better. And then instrument in place. Get the F fingers ready. Okay, let's try. Thank you. 
Great Goose. Um, that song is also known by another title. It's known uh, also as Go Tell Aunt Rhody. I don't know if you've heard that song. It's kind of an old folk song. Um, but what the song is about is this old um, Aunt Rhody who has a beloved pet who is an old gray goose. And the song goes, go tell Aunt Rhody that the old gray goose is dead. So kind of a sad song, but it's still good practice for your fingers. Don't let that get you down. <laughs> so we have some exercises here on page 19 to work on. Um, that's it for this week's video lesson for this part of it and keep practicing and stay well and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.